Okay, Tom, so talk us through this then. Now this is a 190 Series 2, which has just completed a turn. And this has been in this video is to show you what a normal turn should look like. Okay. Um, I've got the top off, but I've got the machine running through a safety transformer. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but really, you don't want to put your hands in any, any near any of the electrics. So, what I'm going to do is just initiate a turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Minus. And then you can see the cam starts. The switch was already closed. It's going to go past the switch now. As it's a Series 2 machine, it will stop halfway. Now this was stopped in its normal position because it's a Series 2 model because the trays are level. Or level-ish. Yeah, okay, so we can see those trays are level there. Yeah, yeah and it's saying pause on the display. That's it. Okay. Yeah, got that. Oh, right. And if I press OK again, to restart it. Okay, alright. We'll restart. Now I'll expect it to go round. And once the switch opens, it will stop. That's what I've expected to do. So that's going to carry on turning as it is now. See, the cam is coming up. What should I expect to happen is the switch will flick open and the turning will stop. Basically now the circuit is broken and the switch stops. So what have you done now? I've just initiated another turn. Yeah. And what will happen now is that it will go down and I expect the trays to stop when the trays get level. Right. If it's a faulty switch, this turn, when the trays are going to from right hand side down to left hand side it will turn virtually normally you wouldn't notice any problems with it mm -hmm. it's when it turns the other way from left to right that's when you most likely see a problem okay then move random stopping mm -hmm. because at the moment the switch is open there's no circuit so it's no problem motor stop yeah that's because the trays is now so motor stop there it's time because the trays are level. Because the trays are level, yeah. And again, there's pause on the screen. Okay. Yeah. And a pause on the screen, you see. Yeah, okay. yeah got that. And if I press OK again, that'll carry on turning. Yeah, that will carry on turning out until the cam comes up and closes the switch. So the cam goes up. Okay, so this is a normal working switch. Yep. Yes, you can hear a slight click. You got a motor stop. And that's a normal work of switch. There's no strain on that switch at all. And yeah. That's okay. And that stops. Yeah. Well, just talk us through the, the, the fact that you could have a grubby. Yeah, I mean, basically, what happens is if the machine's going or left damp, condensation builds it. Uh, corrosion builds up on the internal contacts of the switch. Yeah. And because it's very low voltage, it's yeah. about one volt, about one milliamp, or something silly like that, or two mm. milliamps, there's not enough power for it to actually make a contact. Right. So the, then the control board can't sense when the switch is going to be closing. So what we're going to do now is to replicate what we'd see if you had a faulty switch, is that correct? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, cool. Let's do that then. If the switch is corroded, yeah. the internal contacts are corroded, or the switch is broken or faulty, yeah. what will happen is that, that when it closes, you'll hear the click when it closes, but the cam will still carry on moving. And it'll carry on with it? Yeah, it's turning the power. So that would... You get the click then. Right, so that would normally stop now. Yeah, but on a faulty switch, it's most likely will carry on. It'll carry on like we're seeing now. Yeah, and it may stop. Yeah, and it might stop. Well, it's just stop like this. Okay. Yeah, it'll stop there. Yeah. Or what you might find is when it does the next turn, when you initiate the next turn, it's 
carries on and it could stop. It's not stopping once in the middle, it yeah. stops two or three times. Okay. Yeah, so it will stop in random positions. Okay. And then you have to initiate another turn for the turning. So you'd, you'd, be, you'd have to keep initiating this, this turning to... Yeah, to get it to complete one full turn. Right. You get sort of tray stopping in random positions. Isn't it? Oh, that's better. Yeah, it's stopped. Yeah. And this will be an automatic turn. And then the next time they actually turn, they only need to go down and do the They're just going to carry on. And it will finish the turn. If it carries on, the likelihood is it will get the fault message yet. And then you'll get a fault message on the screen, probably. Yeah. If I was going to leave that now, and it carries on, and it will go into the next turn, so the trains will start to go back, and then it will get the fault message. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Tom, what you're saying is if we've got a problem with a corroded switch and we're getting the fault on, on the machine, mm -hmm. there is an option to take this out and to strip it down and to replace the, spit, replace the, um, the switch, is that yeah. right? Yeah. So you've got one here, that's the Series 2, this is a Series 1, but they're actually identical. Um, yeah, it's the shape of the cam on the Series 1. Uh, series 1, it's a slightly different arm, shape of the cam. Yeah. And the position of the switch is changed by It's just a very few, slightly different. But, very the, slightly. but the same principle applies. So, oh, yeah. if, so if you've got a series the one, parts. the same applies to doing it on this on a series one as it does to doing this here on a on a series yeah. two. That's the important thing, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so this is this is what this is what you, you would take out. Yeah. You'd remove you'd remove that. So you've got to remove yeah. it, remove all the bolts here, disconnect the wires. Did, yeah. We do have instructions for removing the turning assembly because okay. you can replace the whole assembly if you want to. Okay, so you could replace is, the whole lot. Which is, yeah. more, which is more expensive but quicker yeah. and easier. Okay. It takes about it takes somebody about an hour to do that. Take well, an hour to to, yeah. to, to, to somebody, somebody who's doing it for the first time I'd just say it would take about an hour to, to replace to the replace, whole, replace the whole assembly. Replace the whole assembly. Yeah. And to then go that step further and to, to, to strip this out, that's going to take considerably longer, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be a couple of hours work. A couple of hours work. Right tools. And the tools. Yeah, and the, the tools and the know how to do right, it. Right, right. Yeah. So you might be as well if you've got a faulty, a faulty, a faulty switch. If you've got a faulty switch. To get it back to us to do. Yeah, you can either take the assembly out, send the whole assembly back like that, and we can replace the switch. Okay. If you haven't got any, if you've got an incubator full of eggs and. Uh, you're desperate to uh, get new, I would suggest getting a new assembly. A new assembly, we can send that out to you and then you replace that. Come, that. Yeah, it does come with fitting instructions. Okay, so and you've got, basically you've got, you've got some screws here, haven't you, basically? Three, three screws, yeah. a nut on there, on the uh, yeah. rod, and connect And obviously you've got your, your wiring you've got to connect up. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but it's not, it's not particularly difficult with the instructions yet. Yeah. No. Whereas with the uh, switch, we don't actually have instructions because we don't really encourage it because no. if it's not put if the assembly's not put back together absolutely correctly with all the spacing washer spacers in the right place yeah. bolts tight everything tight it probably won't work and the switch you have to basically remove the main shaft and, right. the, and the turning gear wheel to be able to get at the switch which is down there in the bottom oh and the turning motor of course which is not fitted on the okay got another one somewhere um, which shows the um, what it looks like underneath there haven't we <laughs> There we go. Uh, so that then here, that's your switch down here, and yeah. we can see it down in the bottom. And that is the piece. That is the switch we'd have to take out, basically, yeah. and replace. And what happens? You can see, is it? It's not these connectors. It's the actual internal connections of the switch, right? Which get corroded. I see. And which is why you've got to remove that whole piece. Yeah. 